Hey guys, welcome back! With Thanksgiving and the holiday season right around the corner, I thought it was the perfect time to teach you how to make my delicious leek, mushroom, and fig tart, which is a total crowd pleaser, partly because it's just so darn gorgeous. It is beautiful and it goes great with all of your delicious fixings and sides for the holidays. Let's get started. The first step of this recipe actually happens beforehand because we need to pre-soak some raw cashews, which is what I have right here. Now the best way is to just soak them overnight. So decide that you're gonna make this recipe in advance, soak the cashews overnight in water, and then we get to drain and use them in our recipe. Now you can also do this about four hours ahead of time, or if you have a high-powered blender, you don't need to soak them at all. I think the best way is just overnight. So let's uncover these soaked cashews. We're gonna drain and set them aside. We're gonna get started with our crust. So the first step is of course to preheat your oven. We're gonna preheat at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And I love to make this crust in a food processor. It's really the quickest way. If you don't have a food processor, feel free to do this by hand. And I'm gonna tell you how in each step. So what we're gonna do is add, well, first of all, we're gonna add the special kind of plastic blade for dough making. And let's just set that in right there. We're gonna add some all-purpose flour. You can do this in a bowl if you don't have a food processor. We need to season with some sea salt. And we're gonna add some very, very cold non-dairy butter. It's the cold of the butter and the water that we're gonna add and the combination with the very hot air inside the oven that's gonna create those flaky pockets that are so delicious in pie crusts or tart crusts. Now we cover, we're gonna pulse a couple of times until that butter kind of gets broken up a little bit and we have that kind of wet sand texture. If you don't have a food processor, just crumble it up with your fingers. Now we're gonna add some really cold water and we pulse again until it comes together into a sticky ball of dough. Once it's come together like this, we're gonna wrap it in plastic and place it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. That's gonna chill it even further and that's what's gonna create that delicious flaky base for our tart. Now the vegetables you're gonna use for this recipe are some oyster mushrooms. They're these kind of open mushrooms like the ones I have here. And what you want is to really have them really, really dry. That's the key to getting a perfect char on them, which is what we want for this recipe. We're also gonna be using half of a leek, which we're gonna slice now, and some chopped chives. Now, if by any chance you cannot find oyster mushrooms where you live, you can use regular mushrooms. You can use big portobello mushrooms. The important thing is that we get a nice char on them, which is gonna give us that great texture for the tart. Let's cook our vegetables. We're gonna start with those leeks. So add a little bit of oil to a pan. Add in your leeks. And as usual, whenever we use garlic or onions or leeks, we're gonna add a pinch of salt just to help release those delicious juices. Once these are nice and soft, we're gonna remove them from the pan, and to the same pan, we're gonna add those mushrooms. We want a very good char on those mushrooms. I've just added a bit more oil to that pan, and we're gonna add our oyster mushrooms. We really want to let these be. Don't move them around too much until they develop that char on the first side. And also, we don't wanna overcrowd them. And what we can do is really press them in so that they're really in contact with that hot pan. Now we need to season these, of course. So while they're getting that nice char, just add a little bit of sea salt and pepper. And take a peek in the bottom. It's already nice and really golden. And with those crispy edges, you can flip and cook them on the other side. So let's take a look. That's what we want, almost little burnt edges. That's what's gonna be delicious in our tart. We're gonna take our gorgeous charred mushrooms and we're gonna slice them. 
Now let's create our cashew base for the tart. I'm gonna use a handheld blender. You can use a regular blender. It doesn't really matter. So we're gonna add our cashews into the container here. These have been drained, of course. Now we need some kind of liquid to kind of get that moving. So we're gonna use some non-dairy milk. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add some spices now. So I have some onion powder, some salt and pepper, and some nutritional yeast. Let's go ahead and blend that all together until you have a cream. Once you have creamed up those cashews, we're gonna add them to a bowl. And this is gonna be kind of a puree. Let's add some cornstarch. This is gonna help give it nice texture when it's in the oven. And we're also gonna add lots of chives. Let's keep some for topping at the very end too. Let's mix this together. And now we're gonna add our veggies. So we have our delicious leeks, and of course, those gorgeous sliced oyster mushrooms. Our filling for our tart is ready. We're gonna set it aside. We're gonna grab our dough from the refrigerator, roll it out, and pre-bake that crust, then we fill it, bake it again, and it's done. What I've done is prepared a pie plate. This one has a removable bottom, which is really helpful when you're trying to take it out of the pie plate. This is the 11 inch. I like them nice and big so that they can serve a lot of people. So I have added some non-dairy butter and some flour just to make sure that base doesn't stick. I'm gonna set this aside, and I always love to roll my pastry dough I use this one, which is a little bit bigger. I love to roll it on top of parchment paper. It's so much easier to kind of move from one place to the other. We're going to add some flour, and we need a rolling pin. Add a little flour to that, and let's roll out our dough. Just roll it out until you see that it's going to be enough for your pie plate and it's going to go up the sides a little bit. So now we have to transfer it carefully onto the plate. Let's use a fork to just pinch the bottom. This is gonna prevent any air bubbles, especially when we want to pre-bake a crust. And now we have to trim the sides. We only need a little height because this is kind of a flat tart. So you can use a knife to cut the excess off or one of these little handy tools that will leave that crinkled edge. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. I love rustic tarts. We're gonna pre-bake our crust so we need to add some pie weights. Now pie weights, that's just a fancy term for dried beans. So use any dried beans that you have. I keep them in a container that says pie weights and I reuse them. So add some parchment paper, add your pie weights on top. You can't eat these afterwards. You just save them for next time. Let's pop this into the oven for 15 minutes. Let's place our pie weights back into our container. We have that beautiful pre-baked shell. And we're gonna add our delicious filling. Make sure to spread it out into an even layer. Now we pop it back in the oven for eight more minutes and we're ready to top it with our figs and serve. Look at that beauty. It's nice and golden around the edges and the filling is nice and firm. All we have to do now, after taking it out of the pan, of course, and putting it on your plate, is we're gonna slice up the figs into half moons and we're gonna decorate the top and we're also gonna sprinkle an additional bit of some of those chopped chives and you can also add, if you want, this is optional, add a drizzle on top of a balsamic glaze or a balsamic reduction. You can find this ready-made from the store or you can make it your own by just cooking it and letting it kind of reduce until it's kind of half the amount that you started with.
thanks so much for watching guys. From all of us here at Brown Vault, I want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving and a great start to the holiday season. See you next time. Yeah.